Hi peeps, so I have two fabric journals to share with you today. Um, wow, this, <laughs> I was up late last night finishing these up and I do have a boo-boo on one of them which I will share with you because you know I like to be transparent. But um, I'm just going to say I apologize if I ramble too much or... I mix up stuff because I'm so tired and I haven't finished my first cup of coffee. So, two fabric journals. They are pretty much twins. Um, they are identical in almost every way except for a couple of little things. And like I said, one of them has a boo-boo. But anyway, um, I'm going to flip through one first, take a little, little stuff out. And then this one will flip through um, just so you can see the difference, the minor differences. So... I've been fighting with shadows to take pictures today. It's just, oh, so I'm sorry if my, my photos on Etsy are a little shadowy. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. All right. So quick story behind this fabric. If you don't want to hear it, you can fast forward. But so this fabric, I was organizing, um, my fabric stash, which I'm in love with the way I've organized it. Anyway. Um, so when I was doing that, I found this fabric and I already printed the kit for, um, Calico Collages, um, the, well, the, the, I've already printed Calico Collages Serendipity Kit because I already had in mind that I was going to eventually make a journal out of it, but it wasn't going to be the next one until I saw this fabric and I said, this is a sign. <laughs> Sorry about the background noise, you know, NYC life. Um, yeah, when I saw this fabric, I said, I got to do it now. I got to do it now. So I did it. And you will see that this fabric was made for this kit. And I have to do, I think I have a little bit more to maybe crank out one more of um, her journals with this fabric because she has a um, a planner kit that she just created with this same um, you know beautiful images from the serendipity um, kit so anyway all right so <laughs> they are both soft covered journals one signature um I struggled with the ribbon and the lace because it's so busy, beautiful, but very busy. So I didn't want anything to clash or take away from the gorgeousness of this fabric. So anyway, I use this sheer kind of goldish tone because I don't know if you can see, but the fabric has some gold tones in it. And so I use the gold put corners on it and I just use this really sheer um delicate lace on the spine because I didn't want it to you know take away from that beauty oh and the flower is just an addition because I um you know I had some leftover fabric because I don't measure anything so I always cut things way too big um <laughs> So I just made some flowers with my Tim Holtz uh, tattered floral dye, and they the both flowers are pretty identical. The eyelash trim is coming out on this one, so I'm gonna have to glue that one a little bit better. Let me tuck it in there. But they're pretty much identical. This one has a little bit more of the purple in it, but I thought they came out pretty cute. So you can put them wherever you want in your book or. Use it someplace else. It's up to you. All right. So enough of my rambling. Let's go in. Excuse my nails. Oh, my God. My hands need some TLC really bad, and I'm going to give them some when I'm done. So inside flap. So she had these corner pockets. So what I did was I stitched them on some really thin um, cardboard so they'll be pretty sturdy. And she has these gorgeous tags. Aren't they so pretty? I love that deer. And some eyelash trim that just matched perfectly. So um, I did use some pattern paper. Um, I use a watercolor um, paper pad, not watercolor 
paper, but the paper pad is called watercolors. You'll see it when, because I, <laughs> I didn't want again, I didn't want anything to clash with the gorgeousness of this kit. So I wanted something kind of subtle. Anyway, so yeah, so you can journal on the back of that, and um, yeah, so this paper, this paper, this fabric is sheer, so you can see a little bit of way I fold it over the um, the fabric on the cover, but I think it's still stunning, in my opinion. So here we go. So I used a lot of um, the back sides. I used the lime paper or this this um, this design. So you can journal on it. There'll be a lot of places for you to journal. This is from a children's um, music book, and it said Little Butterfly, which is why I used it. So here's the watercolor paper I was telling you about. So I just added a few sheets of these in here. So you have this gorgeous, you know, it just matched so nicely and it didn't clash with the collection so I thought that was a good addition so this is the ephemera from her collection and with all the scraps I use my die cuts and just cut a bunch of um, die cuts <laughs> with the scraps whatever is not in here is going into the goodie bag so I didn't want to stuff it too much because it's pretty chunky and it wasn't really closed in all the way. There's no coffee dye paper in here. It is like resume, parchment, ledger, some vintage papers that I had, um, some Kool-Aid dye paper that you'll see. Um, it's beautiful doily. This is from Tsunami Rose and I just thought the colors in this match so pretty. And then I made this um altered paper clip and I'm just thinking I need I figure I need to put something on the back because I don't like the way that looks back there so I'm gonna find something to cover that because it's driving me crazy so yeah just these are actually like the defective flowers that didn't make uh the cut um because I made a flower that's similar to this I don't even know where I, what I did with it but anyway um and so I just added a butterfly and added some eyelash trim and I just thought it came out pretty cute but I gotta find something to put back there because it's it's irking my nerves now so I'm gonna find something to put back there and then oh oh did I even show you this is my second time doing this video so I don't even know if I showed the tabs so I made the little tabs with the fabric and I hung some charms this is the only charm that's different on the other journal but this one is the same and the butterfly one, oops, is the same. I really need to order some more charms. I am running out. So where were we? Were we here? Okay. So here is a page from um, one of my Rose books. Here's the Kool-Aid. It's actually Kool-Aid and food coloring dyed paper. And I think this is tracing paper. I really wanted to just go crazy and decorate a lot, but I said, no, I'm just going to let the person who will purchase this do their own thing. So, yeah, this is um a page from Richard's Scary Book. I love this. So cute. Red and white made pink. And I think there's a pink, fl pink flower on the other side. And um, this is a CD holder. Added a sticker, and this is from her collection, Creativity Takes Courage. It's a little trim up here, and I use my die cut machine to cut this. Um, my die cut machine needs new plates because it was giving me a hard time cutting this. Um, and I accidentally printed two of the background pages, so I just ran it through my die cut and glued it behind here so you can have some journaling lines. So it worked out. And then this is just some fun yarn and then this postcard was in my stash and I just thought it matched nicely so I put it in here so it has um I didn't glue it all away so it has a pocket behind this as well and this sticker was in my stash and I was just like yeah I gotta go in here because look how pretty it matches Oh, so pretty. This pur the purple is what won me over with this kit because 
rarely do um, designers or even big box stores or companies use purple in their collections and I was just so happy. This is from my garden book. It's from her collection and I backed everything on either some colored index cards or um, colored uh, cardstock. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long, long night and I'm not quite awake and I haven't finished my first cup of coffee yet. So I apologize. I love this big um, mason jar. It's so pretty and I stitched it um, on the scraps of that watercolor paper and I just like, oh, love it so much. This is a layaway tag. Here's a, her ephemera. And I stitched it and just glued it on here. I made a tuck spot. And then here's one of her little envelopes. I didn't put anything inside. I just stuck it in here. And then a flower, some eyelash trim, and this beautiful brad I had in my stash. Hopefully it's focusing. Yeah, I have got to find something that's, that's aggravating me looking at those lines. Anyway, and some onion skin paper. This is that vintage paper. I don't really know how old it is, but it, I know it's vintage. And then I remembered to add the butterflies on the string with some scraps I had left over. It's from Tsunami Rose. And I just stitched it on some pink cardstock, so I won't take it off. It's from her um, kit. The other side of that garden book page. I just love these journals so much. So much. So there's a lot of um, writing space. That pink paper. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of journaling space. So um, here's an altered guest check. I added some stickles. Um, a half a doily. This is from her kit here. Pretty much everything except for the doily. And then I just added this little notepad. This is take a note. It's double sided. Some extra journaling space. Let's see if you can see the stickling. The stickles. Hmm, I don't know. And then here we just have um, the uh, telephone message pad. And then this is from Daphne Diary. That was so cute. You see a little notepad. It says Daphne Dyer in the corner. Is the other side of that, which is scary book. And see, here's the pink roses. Rose, roses and bunny noses are pink. Oh, am I out of frame? Sorry. So the other side of the rose book is another um, ephemera piece and here's another die cut it's just a purple cardstock some monopoly money just match really nicely and one of her tickets is the other side of the doily and then I have a glassine envelope with some lace and a little flower and some bling and inside I just put I can get in here just some leftover pieces from her kit here's the index card that I ran through my die cut machine and I added this oh, and then a little tiny one too and I added this little sticker because this glassine bags have these numbers on it and I, I didn't want the numbers to show so so I left it open so we have big tag from her kit with some eyelash trim. Um, again, I ran this through the die cut machine. That's that um, leftover paper from her kit. And this one's from her kit as well. Everything's stitched. Should show you that. <laughs> oh, that one's not. That one's not stitched. This one is. So I'm loving that I have no scraps, no scraps, none. <laughs> so happy. 
not to have scraps because I ran it everything through my die cut machine. Everything that was big enough, I should say, I ran through my die cut machine. So here's the back pocket. I did the same thing. You can see a tiny bit of the label from the fabric down here, but you know, I you know, have to be transparent and point it out, but. I don't think it takes away from, like I said, the journal. And then there's the back. So that is the first one. I am listing these separately just for my own sanity. <laughs> um, I think you could tell the difference. This one has the butterfly like smack in the middle. And then this one has this butterfly like on the side. So, yeah, I think you'll be able to tell the difference in them. Especially the front pages because this one has the butterfly. I did that on purpose so I will be able to tell the difference. The butterfly and then this one has the flower. You'll see it in a minute. You'll see that that one has the flower. Oh. Let's tie that later. I don't know why I'm trying to do that now. Okay, so here's the sister. And I showed you the flower. I still have my battle scar from the pint. Oh, only me. Close my hand up in the binder. Anyway, same thing. Lace is the same. Everything's the same. I'll show you the my little booboo. So, I think I didn't pull the fabric tight enough because I don't know if you can see it, but see it's a little wonky. I don't know how else to describe it. That's my word. Wonky. So, I just wanted to point that out. Like I said, I don't think it takes away from the beauty but I wanted to be transparent as always and share that. So again, we have the pocket with the beautiful tag. I'm not gonna take it out because it's the same. It probably has a different, um, Gemma has purple on the back, but that's pretty much the only difference really. So I'm gonna go fast, it's the same ephemera. Oops. Oh, I didn't show you this. This is the only difference thing is that flower the other two are the same as the other one so this one has like that iridescent I'm gonna take this one out because so pretty and then it has that on the back so the pockets are um, you know the trim is different than the other one this is a, like a darker pink this postcard is the same the butterfly is the same and the quote is different so that's the only thing that's different on this one I'm going to try to flip fast because I'm almost at 20 minutes. It's ridiculous. The Rich is Scary book. I am Bunny. Um, again, just use my die cuts. Rose book. Looks like the same page, but it's actually a different page. Oh, the pink paper has a shimmer on it because I, I added some um eyeshadow in it <laughs> yeah i like to experiment sometimes and sadly when i trimmed it down i trimmed the it said rose room on here so yeah sucks but it happened this is um tsunami rose and this is this flower Paper clip, I should say. Oops, and I paper clipped them together. So much for trying to go fast. So we have die cuts and ephemera. And I gotta find something for that one because I'm annoyed with it. Same thing, onion skin paper. I'm out of frame, sorry. That pretty doily, some ephemera, it's the same thing. That one's blue on the back. This one has a little heart with a little bird in there. It's from my uh, garden book here, vintage garden book. Let's try to move a little faster. Here's some. Uh, butterflies on there. I did remember them this time. Just two pages here. Let's 
same thing. This, oh my God, this was so cute. This was in my stash and I was like, oh my God, that has to go in there. I didn't have two, sadly, but I had to put it in there. Like, how could I not? It's just too cute not to have it in there. Tsunami Rose. Here's some Monopoly money. All of a sudden, everything is hard to, <laughs> to turn now. So pretty. Same thing, exactly the same except for the quote at the bottom. Same little um, page. Oh, look at these. Look cute. So cute. Okay, this one has the same tag. There's the purple lace. Some die cut. And then on the inside, got the little purple sticker. And the side, we have little die cuts in here. Another die cut with the ephemera. Here's the back with the tag. And that's it. So there are my two fabric journals. They are, it's about, um, I think, 60 pages. Um, so 120 front and back, somewhere around there. But um, they will be listed in my Etsy shop. They will be listed separately. Like I said, it's my own sanity. So take a look at the covers so you can see which one you might like. So this one has this butterfly and this one has this butterfly. Both are stunning in my opinion. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you like them. Let me know what you think. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time. Bye.